Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today I'm going to talk about a condition called maturity onset diabetes of the young. Short is Modi for it. This is a very rare form of diabetes and if 100 people who are diagnosed with diabetes, only one or two will have this type of diabetes. It should not be confused with type 1 or type 2 diabetes which are different diseases. However, the presentation, the side effects, the complication, etc. are very similar. So if you don't know what diabetes do in our body, how can it affect us, then please do watch my links on the videos below. So first thing to understand what causes Modi diabetes. Modi is caused by a single gene defect or mutation. There are few genes in our body which control the production of insulin by our pancreas. So if those genes are not working properly, then pancreas will not be able to produce enough insulin for us to be able to control our blood sugar and we develop diabetes. But what causes this gene mutation? First of all, to understand what genes are, genes are the little things in our cells which control everything in our body, which makes the way our hair color is, what our skin color is, how our body works, how our body develops, how tall we are going to be. Everything is controlled by genes. And there are few genes which control the production of insulin from the pancreas. If those genes are not working properly, then pancreas will not produce enough insulin. Why does that happen? So these are the two parents, mom or a dad or a dad or a mom, and one of them have a defective gene to cause Modi in this person. So either mom or a dad has Modi. If they have four children, one, two, three, four, could be boys or girls or anyone, doesn't matter, half of them will carry this gene. So the one of the parents who has Modi will pass this gene, this defective gene or mutated gene to two out of four. So 50%. If there are six children, three out of six will develop Modi. And this child, when he or she becomes a parent, the chance of this child passing Modi to his or her children will be again 50%. So it goes from one generation to the second, to the third, to the fourth. And that is the difference between Modi diabetes and other types of diabetes that we call type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And most of these people who will develop diabetes because it's called maturity onset diabetes of the young of the young remember that word young most of these patients will develop diabetes this one this one and this one before the age of 25. so just to recap quickly the difference between type 1 type 2 diabetes and modi first of all it doesn't modi doesn't always require insulin it happens in young people as i said earlier under the age of 25 and runs in generations. So grand, one of the grandparents might have Modi, then one of our parents might have Modi, and then a couple of our siblings might have Modi. These are the different types of gene defects or type of Modis that one can develop. HNF1 and alpha is the commonest type of Modi. And over 70% of people who develop Modi will have this type of diabetes or gene defect. This does not usually require insulin and can be treated with tablets. This one, HNF4 alpha, rare kind of Modi. Usually children are born quite heavy. Uh, so if they have Modi, say, for example, if a parent has Modi and they pass it on to two out of four children, the two children who will develop Modi will be heavier. So nine pounds or four kilograms and above. And they usually develop Modi at a later age in life, so about 24, 25 years of age. And again, controlled with tablets rather than requiring insulin. This is a very rare kind of Modi HNF1 beta, and this usually requires insulin. And many of these patients also have cysts, like little pockets in the kidneys. So glucokinase, it's the type of Modi which is the mildest Modi and does not require treatment in most patients. 
it's picked up by routine blood tests. Blood sugar will be slightly higher than normal. These type of MODIs can develop complications of diabetes like having problem with the eyes, having problem with the blood vessels, having high risk of stroke, heart attacks, ulceration of the limbs, infection, etc. This type of MODI has a very low risk of complications. So if someone suspects that they have MODI rather than type 1 or type 2 diabetes because they have a family history of diabetes in the grandparents or in their parents now themselves or uh, one or two of their brothers or sisters, then they can speak to their doctor and the doctor can do a blood test, very special blood test to check for the genes that I've spoken in my previous slide, um, whether they are defective or not. They can also do a urine test as well to check for any defective protein in their blood or in the urine and that's how it's picked up. The second important thing is that once one is diagnosed with Modi it's very important to seek advice from a genetic counselor because remember that if I have Modi I've got a 50% chance of passing it to my children. So it is very important to know that whether uh, what will be the problems to my children, what will be the problems to me as a result of developing the type of diabetes or type of Modi I have. I hope you did find this video informative and if you did then please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.